Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how we can pipe it to the output to a CSV format. Most of the time, we work with uh, either by importing or exporting to to a CSV standard format. Uh, we can check the HAL file to get any of the CSV relevant, any of the command lights are available. To begin with that, we can either check for get hyphen help to get anything called CSV. Uh, that should actually list out any of the commands which are available with the CSV format. So in this case, I can check out here uh, exporting CSV, importing CSV is available. I also have the converting from CSV, convert to CSV. So we have different options which are available within the CSV. Now I'm going to check out to uh, export CSV. Uh, in this case, uh, we're going to work with the converting and the importing options later point. Uh, but for now, I would stick to uh, export CSV as the example. Uh, let's run as a git hyphen service before I pipe it. Actually, uh, let's have a look on it. You know how it looks like the output. Uh, so this is the output, uh, which is having three different values. If you can, you know, look at here status name and display name uh, let's see you know if i export uh, if you want to know how to export this you know normally you are you need to you can get the uh, complete help uh, before you know you try with any of the command line has a best practice uh, if you know it that's fine otherwise you can always go for like you know typing help and for the command uh, here export hyphen c uh, csv so that's where the command line and uh, you can check out here it's just again uh, definitely need some kind of you know, values so you do have here two different syntaxes and you can check out the what is a unique and what not unique and then uh, read about uh, these uh, brackets close brackets and the angular brackets and based on that you can you know uh, work on that uh, so in my case i've already gone through the help file now what i can do is i can simply use the services like a get hyphen service uh, in this case service right here service and uh, this is the command which is coming out so i'm just typing here to pipe this to export hyphen csv and then uh, i want i want to give it as a path uh, because if i just give p and hyphen uh, i do have the option here if you can you know, look at by going back to the uh, information of the help you do have here the path information so the path uh, has to be given here so the path is my uh, one of the local path so in this case i can give uh, my c drive uh, somewhere uh, csv format like uh, here i can give a space and give here as uh, services dot csv so it's going to create here that specific file with the output, whatever it is coming out of get hyphen services. So it's just passed. That means no errors uh, coming out of our shell. That means it's a good sign. Let's open that uh, by C column uh, services CSV. So you can check out here. Uh, it has a very lengthy biggie one. And if you have the or maybe a Excel format you would you know come to know how it looks like but if you read uh, a little bit if you try to you know, understand the normal CSV structure here so we can understand like name is there required services and can pass condition is uh, and can shut down can stop oh my god this is giving all that information uh, which was not available here if you look at here all the possible columns information is coming up here and you see here you have the status name and display name but here it's giving very detailed information let me import this csv file uh, to my shell and show you to do that i just have to press enter yeah here i can import uh, input to csv because i have the csv file which is in my c colon uh, csv yeah I, I got this file and the path uh, definitely the path of this would be c colon services uh, csv so you can see the output how it looks like so when i import i'm able to get it here i'm just breaking up uh, because uh, it's a huge output looks like and you see here for one uh, each service it is actually showing very detailed uh, information for example container information is not coming up S site is not coming but the startup type is manual and the service 
type status everything is coming up if you look at uh, carefully like name and status it, and description is uh, also available but in the previous output which we just typed here uh, as the get services output uh, which is just showing here as this output which is the, just the three columns here like status name and display name but uh, the real output when we actually export it to CSV we are getting very detailed one now you might have a different questions how would I actually filter out before we filter out let me once again open and show you that actual file uh, in this case it's a C colon CSV file right so the services.csv so when I open or uh, when I open with the notepad you see here, the first line itself has uh, some kind of you know, service control specific one a processor relate uh, because this is actually object which we actually pulled out of the properties of this object and it was you know given this as the output so it's good that you know uh, PowerShell can understand this you know hash as a comment uh, as the output when you, you know try to again re-import or to do or to play with anything but you know think about it if you are trying to play with another application or another script engine uh, maybe it's difficult you you need to know or need to have you know need to have this a uh, specific line how would I you know take it out the specific line so to take it out this line if you may have to you know check out one of the uh, help file uh, let's you know go back to the help and this console I'm actually typing here uh, with the again the same command get hyphen help and this is export hyphen uh, CSV specific so I'm just typing this and you can check out here there is the there is something called here uh, no type information was mentioned and for this syntax also no type of information so I'm going to call this no type information uh, by the, with the same output which we use this output as a get services specific with a different file this time just you know differentiate for for you no type information just type the no type and then give a space or tab uh, I'm sorry a tab would automatically fulfill that uh, specific value and give hint it enters so you're able to get the output now and this output if I try to open this time with this text file yeah I don't have a uh, XML so you can check out here now there is a difference between uh, two of these right you can check out here it is directly started from the second line uh, with the services at one and there is uh, no object information was you know uh, coming out uh, out of your uh, script output so this is one of the useful uh, commandlet uh, sometimes you know you when you try to export you are uh, you will be getting always with this a specific script uh, or specific command and that would uh, cause uh, different errors when you try to again re-import uh, for some other purpose maybe to sequence server or to somewhere uh, then it it causes a lot of issues because we deal with uh, multiple uh, csv files all the time one other uh, most important point here is if you're piping out after piping if you type anything as a export csv that means this funnel is over so you you don't get any other information like you can't here have one more uh, uh, one more pipe so you can't do you can't have one more pipe maybe if you were trying to put some kind of you know final information here also it will not uh, accept any kind of values uh, I mean you know if you try to you know from here you you think that again I want to do it from here uh, of exporting to another export or something like that also it doesn't work the reason for this uh, would be uh, for example here you think that there's no output came because we just changed this value and uh, no output sign means it's a good uh, I mean no no errors are popped up so you think that you know it's a good but you know when you look at uh, uh, the dot uh, CSV uh, from the C colon uh, like this um, so you might be you know, uh, thinking that this file also should be get it get to be you know, created the second file which we have piped out so you can't get any output once you know give the export after that uh, after once you know piped out this is a last this is a last output or the last command that should be used for your um, when you're you know trying to pipe out so you piped out uh, for some kind of you know values in that situation you must have to use as this is the last option so that you don't get any other output
Let's think about another way like you wanted to display only the display name as well as the and the uh, status of that. Uh, for example, if I just uh, go for the uh, get hyphen service, uh, I'm actually getting the three of the columns with one would be the uh, here the name as well as the display name and the status. What if I just wanted to display only to get as a display and as well as the maybe a status and that a specific output only should go to my exported I wanted to export to CSV format so to do that what I have to do is I need to you know, build uh, a specific way uh, of output altogether for example I can uh, type here the specific service get hyphen service that's the definitely uh, required service uh, I wanted to query and inside this I wanted uh, what are the information I wanted for example I wanted here as a display name so the display name how would I know is here if you can you know check out here the uh, name is there display name as well as the name also there and status these three things I wanted or maybe just the one example so I'm just taking here as the display name for now once I hit a tab it's actually fulfilling as a display name now what I wanted he here is in this display name I wanted something uh, just specific to some of the values I just wanted some more level of filtering for example I just wanted here anything with the starting with the device or DNS or maybe a Windows specific uh, I can see here a lot of things with the window so let me take it here as a specific to Windows so what I have to do is here I have to query as the wild characters anything looks as the windows and the display name uh, you can you know pipe this information so you you got one object uh, which is a, a get hyphen services which is listing all the services out of that you want uh, only display to be display name which contains uh, this wild characters in this case windows and you're piping out this one so this considers a one object uh, if you can you know remember in the previous lectures I said you know whatever it is coming out uh, in the between the pipes uh, each one considers a different object altogether so uh, what I can do is again nest to this object I can here uh, select as the object select as the object so this is gonna uh, selecting as object and this object properties I wanted uh, to see as a display as well as the uh, status I wanted if I don't want for example I don't want this uh, uh, maybe the name of the service uh, because uh, this is this may not be good for me I just want the display name as well as the status so I'm just you know querying uh, out of this property which is uh, this is the one of the class or one of the object you can think and this object uh, I'm actually querying as the display name as well as the status for the property so I need to mention here as also the property so here select hyphen object along with the property values as the display name which is this uh, in this case here as well as the status is this whether it is a start state or stop state now if I hit enter I would be getting some kind of an output as the whatever the display name under display name with a filter if it has a windows it's gonna display so this is called filter with only windows wherever it 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 has a word called windows it can be a second word or the first word or the last word because we we gave as a filter uh, with the star which is a wild character and now uh, for this object or for this entire object we wanted to see the properties only for the display and the status now you got a proper table information now what uh, what you can do is you can actually export this to uh, CSV format so to do that again you can uh, type the same command line which we used in the previous I just press the up arrow key to get that a uh, specific uh, command line and adding here as the output to the uh, to get it as export uh, with the path name and this is a status.csv so in this I'm gonna get this as the output and remember that uh, this would actually um, again um, it's going to be you no know, you're going to uh, get that specific values uh, along with that object uh, specific information also you would be able to get that specific information if you don't want that you need to mention again no uh, object information specific let's open this uh, at this point of time I deleted the previous ones so that's good uh, let's open this and you see here this object specific one is coming up but uh, the required object uh, specific information is as it is what we have so what we can uh, do is if you don't want this again we can specify as a node type uh, uh, information as the uh, command line 
as you can see I've just tapped as a no type information so uh, to this file and uh, once it would be generating as the output for me as the status file is generated without that no type information so this is how you're going to you know customizing and play with the examples uh, that would actually boost a lot of confidence and once you know these are the basics uh, you can actually continue further I hope this was useful for you thank you for watching this